21, which often causes confusion. Some people say treat everybody. Even if their thyroid is normal, some centers say give thyroid replacement. So it is problems can be at birth or autoimmune. It can cause both hypothyroidism, central hypothyroidism, thyroid resistance. It can cause thyrotoxicosis. We have seen all sorts of cases with this. In that regards, the plan is, of course, if it's more than 10, you should treat and monitor at birth and 6 to 12 monthly and then annually. So we'll discuss about the guidelines here from Dr. Manoj and then we'll probably stop at that point of time and continue in the next week. Good afternoon all. Today we will discuss uh, thyroid illnesses in the Down syndrome. So <clears throat> we have one month old child who has diagnosed as a Down syndrome and uh, according to as we discussed TSH was higher side 8.8 and free T4 was normal to low and what advice we have to give in this particular case. Either should we have to start the treatment or should we have to wait and watch or we, we just have to give reassurance. So what uh, what advice we have to give in this particular case? So first question is, does an additional 21 chromosome requires additional thyroid care? So for answering this question, first we will see the prevalence of the Down uh, th uh, thyroid illnesses in the Down syndrome. So Down syndrome is very, uh, very common over worldwide. It is common in one in 669, uh, 691 live birth. And hypothyroidism is also common till uh, in overall population. Prevalence is around 10.95 percentage in uh, till the adulthood. So if we combine the both the data, then prevalence of the uh, hypothyroidism in Down syndrome is much, much higher. That was 28% to 49%. This sample size varies because of the different sample size or the different sample size and different studies. So is it all about the hypothyroidism? No, it is not all about the hypothyroidism. It is entire spectrum of the, the uh, disease. It, if we start with the hypothyroidism, then first congenital hypothyroidism, which is 28 times more common than the normal population. So every child with the Down syndrome, we have to screen for hypothyroidism. And who are those child who having uh, uh, Down syndrome and, conge and congenital hypothyroidism, they are more vulnerable for many uh, other congenital anomalies like uh, renal anomalies, cardiac anomalies, and uh, uh, gastric anomalies. So we have to screen for that also. Another uh, most common entity is a, a subclinical hypothyroidism, which is a most common uh, uh, entity that found in uh, found in uh, Down syndrome, which is around 40 to 50 percent uh, uh, causes illness. And third is overt hypothyroidism. Here, uh, here over hypothyroid to manage over hypothyroidism, it is more difficult because of the some malabsorption issue and because of the ge some genetic setup. Second spectrum is hyperthyroidism. So only Down syndrome not cause only hypothyroidism, but it cause hyperthyroidism as well. But course of the hyperthyroidism is much, uh, it, uh, much uh, uh, lower than the normal population. So if we see previous studies, so according to st study conducted in the U USA, uh, they, they have 508 patients in that study. According to their study, 24% patient had already thyroid illnesses at time of the at time of the study, and 50% patient involved till the adulthood. And what they specifically recommended, they recommended that there is no role of anti-thyroid uh, TPO antibody or anti-thyroid antibody in overt hypothyroidism. So it is uh, hypothyroidism in Down syndrome is not due to the autoimmunity, but it, it is due to the ge some genetic setup or some genetic abnormalities. So what happens in the Down syndrome? So there is a Down syndrome, uh, in Down syndrome, there is a the dysregulation of HPA axis, which causes low to normal T4 with high TSH level. So basically it causes subclinical hypothyroidism. And basically, as we discussed previously, treatment is not required in subclinical hypothyroidism. So another study which conducted in the Israel, which was showing that uh, TSH level in this study group showed a shift of the curve to the higher value. So in the, uh, the, the if we see the distribution of mode, then the, uh, in the distribution of mode in the case group was 4, 
while in control group which was two so it was significantly higher side so there is a shift towards the right mm. in tsh level mm. which may indicate there is a tsh receptor sort of issue mm -hmm. they are less responsive to signal of tsh what about fp4 do they have a graph for fp4 sir they don't have that will make it much clearer mm. The TSH is more, but FP4 is same, hmm. which means your set point is. But uh, according to most of the study, the 3T4 was low, normal side. And they also specifically mentioned that this hypothyroidism or subclinical hypothyroidism was not because of the autoimmunity. It is due to the some genetic reset. People have done TSH receptor studies in this group or not? Sir, they have did. But it uh, means th there is no correlation with the hy uh, overt hypothyroidism and uh, TPO positivity. So uh, they mentioned there is no role of the thyroid antibody and instead in this subclinical hypothyroidism, uh, uh, frequent monitoring is must. So why there is high TSH in Down syndrome? Th there, are, there are so many hypotheses regarding, uh, regarding this uh, dilemma. One is delayed maturation of hypothyroidism, uh, hypothyroidism pituitary axis in the newborn that which leads high TSH due to the peripheral resistance of the thyroid hormone or there is an altered central control because of the dopamine on the TSH or either it is due to the uh, bio, inactive, uh, bio inactivity of TSH. So this can, uh, this can cause high TSH level in Down syndrome. So we have case of 15 day old newborn which was normal on the newborn screening and advice by a physician for thyroid function test at the five year of age. After one year during routine, uh, routine workup, TSH was higher side. Uh, sorry, uh, by mistake, it was 24. I mentioned it 14 and the patient having low, t low, low pre-T4. So it was primary hypothyroidism. Why it is happening? So, we, uh, so answered this question. So, first of all, we have to know when to screen uh, hyper, uh, for uh, uh, thyroid screen in the Down syndrome and what test should we have to order. So, when to screen. Uh, so, we have to screen at the neodrenal periods at the six month, one year, and annually. Uh, at the newborn, neonatal period, according to newborn screening protocol, both DSH and T3 should be done. Uh, why we are doing at the six month? Because of many child up down escapes during neonatal screening. So to, for early pickup, we have to do screening at the six month. Third is we have to repeat it again the one year because there are more than 9% of the hypothyroidism diagnosed before one year. And annually, why we are uh, doing annually? Because per year, there is five to 10% increases chances of thyroid illness in the Down syndrome. So we have, we have to screen annually. So why this frequent screening is required? Because uh, as we seen, there is high prevalence of hypothyroidism in Down syndrome. Second is it is not associated with the comorbidities. Like it is not associated with the uh, obesity. It is not associated with the autoimmunity. So that purpose is we have to do frequent screening. Uh, second is overlapping features between Down syndrome and a thyroid illness uh, like down syndrome uh, also having dry skin mental retardation source teacher and down syndrome uh, and hypothyroidism also having same features so we can we can't easily differentiate between two of these so for this we have to uh, do frequent monitoring third is many times it's a transient phenomena so uh, this is again debatable issue. Either should we uh, either we have to start treatment in subclinical hypothyroidism. So according to one study, it was showing short-term positive effect on the development by starting treatment. But many studies sh uh, show, uh, shows that there is no any long-term effect on the development. Second, it is a transient phase. So by giving treatment, we are uh, giving more harm to these down child. Third is higher T4 with the treatment. So child may go into the thyrotoxicosis uh, and fourth is more adverse effect with the treatment. So better policy should be the uh, frequent monitoring rather than starting treatment. So if I conclude my talk, then thyroid illnesses is very common in the Down syndrome. 
Among them, subclinical hypothyroidism is most common. In this case, we have to wait and watch and we have to frequently monitor for thyroid function test rather than starting treatment and regular monitor monitoring of thyroid antibody having no role. Thank you.